Hi, my name is Lucinda McAllister and I'm the Service Manager for Skills and Employability with Enterprise Planning and Protective Services. And I'm responsible for ensuring that we understand uh, what businesses need, um, what employers are needing, we understand what the labour market opportunities are out there so that we can work with um, young people uh, from a school age, uh, vulnerable people that are unemployed, all the way through to adults, um, so we can advise them on the opportunities for, for uh, employment and, and work with them to, to give them the skills that they need, both the practical skills and also the employability skills to help them uh, get into job opportunities and sustain the job opportunities. We were really, really pleased um, when our building standards colleagues actually spoke to BT Passive about our centres here. We have two centres. We've got a renewables training centre um, and also a, a construction skills and health and safety um, and employability skills development centre where we work with a lot of people, vulnerable people um, and also people that are uh, in businesses to, to get them up their learning curves and we were really pleased when uh, BT Passive were really pointed in our direction because it gave us the opportunity, one, uh, to, to link these young individuals, unemployed individuals, uh, to BT Passive as an organisation. Uh, they were able to work with very, you know, the owner of the company, Ron, uh, some experienced uh, tradesmen in the company, and two, what they were able to do was to really see what it means um, for this whole new construction uh, opportunity, the new construction skills and uh, the kind of sustainable energy fit passive house uh, that they were involved in. And we were really also pleased that we were able to uh, open up our facilities to a company that was, uh, I would say, prospecting into this whole new industry um, and working together, you know, we, we'd invested in the facility for learning and what better than, you know, the, the, the people that are, are building the house to be able to work with us and the young individuals to construct the component elements of the house and our premises, uh, which was filmed. Um, so it, it, it's introducing the, the, the young people to, you know, the, 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 uh, how you build the passive house and it's also being filmed so we could route that out to the wider community because that's what we're about, it's not just about the people that we work with, it's about all of the kids uh, throughout the Opportunities Five partnership that eventually are going to get the chance to get involved in this so we were really pleased about that and then not stopping there, um, BT Passive allowed uh, the, the young individuals involved in this whole project as, as well as our staff, it's also a, a really good learning curve for our staff because our staff were able to work hand in hand with the builders to understand what the skills were required, what, what you know resources are required, time scales, timelines, and then to actually go out on site and, and construct the houses. You know what a, what a fabulous uh, learning experience for everyone, and also giving these young people the chance to build up the skills to either go on and work with companies or to decide, well, I can do this myself. I can actually go out and, and, and help build these you know, affordable houses uh, and, and, and also introducing them to um, the, the, the housing association. So, as an organisation, very, very pleased. You know, as the service manager who's responsible for, for introducing people you know, to live experience in relation to work, this has been, for me, a win-win on every level. And we are really excited about driving it forward and actually opening this whole opportunity up to you know, far more people um, who need to build the skills to get them into sustainable employment. And helping the environment isn't a bad thing.